Hi folks, we've got another unboxing video for you today. This is a hot air engine, otherwise known as the Stirling engine, from a Chinese company called Stirling Kit. Okay, we've got at the top the instructions. Look at those in a minute. We've got what I guess is the power piston. That looks quite nicely machined. We have an, uh, an aluminium flywheel. Again, very nicely machined. You can't feel any of the machining markings on that. I'm very impressed with that. This is the main body, the power cylinder and the fitting for the displacer. When I get it running, I'll explain how it works for you. Here we've got the wick and some gaskets. Gaskets are made out of what looks like a thin Silicon rubber, maybe. You'll find out when I open them all up properly. Nice little selection of bolts. We've got here. Let's take this out for you. We've got the, what I guess is the main bearing and two small roller bear or two small ball bearings on there. And there's another pin. And some grub screws. No idea what this metal plate is for for the moment. This is just pressed out. Not sure if it's steel or aluminium. Find out. Now this is the displacer piston and cylinder. The displacer is a loose fit inside the cylinder. The securing plate for what is probably the displacer. Another very nicely machined aluminium crank. An Allen key, which to be honest, looks like fairly low quality, but should be adequate for this light uh, job. Again here we've got some more screws, um, another o-ring, the pin and a bit of plastic pipe for something. A couple more Allen keys, it's nice that they give you all the tools necessary to assemble it. Little jar, bottle to fill up the burner with alcohol. Okay, a couple of connecting rods here, one for the power piston, one for the displacer connecting rod that make, feels like it's made out of steel. Again, nicely machined. I can't see any significant burrs on there. And finally, 
we have the base which is cast something or other um, probably a cast aluminium magnesium or alloy um, samac again ni nicely cast nice fine finish to it this i presume is the reservoir for the alcohol the mounting for the main bracket is tapped and the main bearing looks like it's been reamed out and so again all very nicely machined all very nicely produced i'm generally not a lover of cheap chinese rubbish but this was quite reasonably priced but it's certainly not rubbish it's a very nicely produced kit the instructions which are normally the entertainment in chinese kits We have a parts list, which again, everything looks like it's clearly identified with numbers. Um, we've got pictorial instructions. Um, there's a little bit of writing here and there, which is in both Chinese and English. Um, let's start with a general arrangement. Then on to fairly explicit instructions. I don't think anybody would have any great difficulty in assembling this. On to the build. I won't narrate the build. I'll just play a little bit of um, a nice soundtrack and then we'll talk about it when I've finished. <laughs>
Uh, let's talk about how this works. There's two, two pistons. There's the power piston in here, and the power piston is a very good seal against the cylinder. And there's the displacer piston. Now the displacer piston is a very loose fit, so air can pass freely from one side to the other. Now on the displacement cylinder, you've got the hot end, which is over the top of the burner. And you've got the cold end, which has got these cooling fins. When the displacer piston is in this side, then there's an air space this side and the air heats up. Now there's also a passage between the displacer cylinder and the power cylinder. So when the air heats up, it pushes the power piston out. And as the power piston goes out, the flywheel rotates and the displacer goes back in and the displacer displaces the air from the hot side to the cold side. And then the cold air contracts and the power piston is pulled back. Now as the power piston is pulled back, the displacer piston again moves to the cold side, moving the air to the hot side. Air expands, pushes the power piston out, and the whole cycle repeats. Uh, it's a very simple process invented by Robert Sterling, who applied for the patent in 1816. Um, curiously, the process is reversible, so if you spin the engine fast enough, the hot end will get hot and the cold end will get cold, so it can be used as a heat pump. There you have it, a very nice little kit from Sterling Engine. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, please consider subscribing, I'd really appreciate it. A thumbs up would be nice and please leave any comments you've got in the comment section below. Thank you, I'll leave you with the last couple of seconds of the engine running.